So how do you defend against these backdoor accounts? First and foremost, stay current on vendor updates. Believe it or not, many vendors get embarrassed when these backdoors are exposed and they try to update them. Now I know what you're thinking, well, Cam, don't they just put in additional backdoors? It's true that they might, but the reality is, is that at least they're obscuring or hiding these accounts from anyone being able to see. Also, make sure you're monitoring any administrative connections or restricting them. In other words, try to keep it so that no one from outside your network can come in to remotely administer a machine. Or if they do, they have to pass through an additional level of security, such as a secured and authenticated remote control software. You also want to filter and control any remote access, not just your administrative connections. Make sure that all your remote connections are being logged and monitored. And finally, consider using open source software on as many systems as possible. Open source software is a special class, almost a special copyright. This is software produced by vendors or by volunteers where they allow you to actually look at the source code involved in the program. Now there's a couple variations. Some of the software is actually technically free. You can download it from anywhere. Other open source software, you still have to pay the manufacturer, but they provide a copy of the source code. This allows you to review the source code, looking to see if there's any open connections or hidden accounts or, frankly, any problems with the code itself, even if you're not a programmer. By purchasing or implementing open source software, you will know that someone, somewhere, probably is reviewing the code and will publicize any vulnerabilities and often any problems in the architecture of the software itself before you actually implement it.